What's going on guys, it's Omni York. Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be visiting a five-star hotel in New York City. I've never been to a five-star hotel before and I live in New York City. So I figured why not take advantage of this time? Let's just book a room and go. Now I'm not sponsored, but I went on a website called Hotwire and they have hotel listings and you can sort by five-star uh, reviews, five-star hotels, and you can get a really good deal, but the catch is that they actually don't tell you what hotel it is until you place the booking. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to not only stay at a five-star hotel for a good deal, but it's totally random. I don't actually know which hotel we're gonna be getting. So that's what we're doing today. Let's see how it goes. But first I have to get changed. So let's go ahead and do it. And we're back. Okay, so I'm fully changed. I just placed the order on Hotwire. The email says that I'm staying at the Conrad New York downtown. Pulling it up on Google does say that it's a five star hotel, over 2,400 reviews. Booking.com has a room for 327 with taxes and fees. My price through Hotwire was 160, so. I paid like half price for a five-star hotel. Let's freaking go. Again, I have no idea what to expect, so I'm just gonna show up and see what happens. I know it looks sunny out there, but it's actually 30 degrees outside. How are you? I didn't know I had to use my key to activate the elevator. He didn't tell me. Why? All right, we are fully checked into the hotel room. This place, I just did a walkthrough. This place is sick for the price that I paid. This is this is actually crazy, okay? Let's take a look. This is the room that you first walk into when you walk into the hotel. This is a 55 inch flat screen TV right across from the couch. Okay, this turns into a bed. You can pull this out, this turns into a bed. So if you and your wife or arguing or whatever, this is where you're gonna sleep, okay? And you're not gonna be happy about it. We got art on the wall. That's how we're living, boys. We got art on the wall. I know the guys who painted these, they're from Brooklyn. I paid, this one was 750,000. This one's 500,000. It's just, this is the life that, you know, that we're living now. Uh, you know, I made I made like 20 bucks off of a video on YouTube once, so we're kind of falling out of control at this point. Um, these are the menus for food, okay? Cereal, $10, cornflakes. Can't believe it, 10 bucks. Can you believe that for cereal? This is a little work, little office thing. My slipper fell off. You know, we live we live our life in slippers now, okay? Cause I mean, we, you know, we're living a life of luxury. So this is this is the little uh, like place where you can get work done or something if you have a job or whatever. Uh, this is this is the power supply, but we just we just tuck that right we just tuck that right into the table. Who needs who needs it to be fully exposed all the time, right? It's 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 ugly. Okay, let's just be honest. What do we got here? It's a nice leather chair. This is Hermes, of course, right? Uh, this is an essentials kit, the Conrad New York essentials kit. Let's see what's in here. These are essentials, by the way. 50 milliliter hand sanitizer bottle. Uh, three ply face mask, one pair of disposable gloves, and 10 sanitizing wipes. How thoughtful, okay, how thoughtful. This is chocolates. Your boy ate the chocolates already. I'll, we'll cut now to the video of me eating the chocolates. They were delicious, okay, let's cut to that. Conrad of New York downtown. 
Uh, oh, there's more than one in case you've got a family. It's okay, I'm all alone. But yo, let's take a let's take a closer look at this. Let's go, dude. I wonder if these are any good. This one looks like it's got sea salt on it. I'm a sucker for chocolate with sea salt. So let's let's see. Mm, yo. We live in the life now, boys. So let's freaking go. <laughs> I haven't eaten since breakfast. It's four o'clock right now. So we're gonna have another one. Cheers. Ooh, yo, that one was caramel. That one was fire. No. Oh. Then we've got some notes here, okay? This is what Conrad says. This is thick paper. You hear that? Thick two C's in this paper. It says, Dear Valued Guests, thank you for choosing to stay at Conrad, New York downtown. We would like to extend a warm welcome and trust you, uh, extend you a warm welcome and trust your stay with us will be inspiring and memorable. Okay, if I could read, that would be great. Please be advised that we have placed our water filtration systems offline at this time for maintenance upgrades. While these updates take place, housekeeping will leave water bottles in room for your convenience. We apologize for any issues. You know what? It doesn't even matter, right? It doesn't even matter. Uh, we'll drink the clean water. We'll shower in the dirty water. Like it is what it is. It doesn't, who, who needs clean water to shower with anyway, okay? There's a QR code here. I don't know what that is for or what that means, but it doesn't matter. We're not reading that one. That one's, that one's lame. Over here, we got some, some tile artwork. I know the guy who did this one. This one, this dude lives in Long Island City. He uh, paid a hundred thousand for those four tiles right there. It was worth it, right? It was worth it. He was going through a tough time. So I feel like I got to spark a local economy, you know? So we got the couch. You saw that already. We'll turn around here. This is the hallway. Welcome to the hallway. This is where we keep the Nespresso machine. Okay, these little, little bullets of coffee. I love it. I love that little uh, nice, nice touch there. Nice touch. I've never used one of those before, but I'm sure they're great. Okay, I'm sure they're great. If they have them here, they're, they're probably great. This is the, the private bar menu. Let's take a look at the private bar menu. Cashews, $15. I'm not, I'm not screwing around here. You guys can see this. Nine, uh, no, that's $6 for a chocolate bar. If my dyslexia won't kick in. Coke is $7. Bro, that better be real cocaine. I don't know what, dude, I can go to McDonald's and look at me 60 ounces, 60 fluid ounces of Coke for a nickel, dude. There's no way. And and a beer is a dollar more. A Brooklyn Lager's eight. So how is a Coke seven and, and, and the beer is eight? I don't know. This is that clean water, by the way. It's got their name on it. That's how you know they're really balling out of absolute control around here. What do we got? Um, this opens up. Doesn't look like it does, but it does. Yeah, you're, you're shocked right now. Yeah, so you get, you get your jaw off the floor. We got a video to continue, okay? This thing here, I think this dispenses liquids, but it's not plugged in because you can see the little cable sticking out from the back there. So I don't know. I've tried to like pull it off the wall, but I don't want to break it because I can't actually afford to fix it. So yeah, we got some coffee mugs. Oh shit, I thought it was falling. Some coffee mugs, espresso cups. <laughs> We got some wine glasses up here. Uh, love it, right? Absolutely love it. I, I, I don't know what inspired me to pull on that. I didn't, it doesn't even look like it opens, honestly. So it is what it is. Come over here, we got the little vanity mirror. This is great. We got the, it's illuminated around the edges because money. This is a sink. That's not filtered water, by the way. That's dirty water, just so we're clear. Don't drink that, but you can clean yourself with it. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's not, don't, just don't even ask questions. Down here, this is where the real magic happens, okay? This fully stocked, fully stocked mini bar, in case you were wondering, this is the seven dollar Coke. The seven bucks right here. Seven, seven dollar Coke. And uh, there's this six dollar, six dollar caddy bars over here. I think they're gonna charge me just for opening this. So I'm gonna close this back up, but, but it's lit, dude. Like it's, it's literally lit. We got the, we got the black label. I shouldn't be touching all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I just shouldn't be touching it because, well, you know, they're going to charge me. Let's close this up. Let's see what's, what's in here. This is, I think I broke it. No, we're going to open It's fine. It's fine. That's, that doesn't open. I was just, I was showing you that that doesn't open. That's not supposed to open. Don't touch that. Anyway. Down here, these are the nuts. These nuts cost $15, so don't touch those. We got a little place to keep your handgun in case you have, it's America, so you know, that's where we keep the uh, Uzi. Let's keep, let's, <clears throat> let's head on down here. We're gonna actually, let's go into the bathroom. The bathroom is directly across from the Nespresso machine. So here we are, we're in the bathroom. Welcome to the bathroom. This is lit, okay? It's literally illuminated with the lights on the mirror and that's the back of my head, hello. Let's see, this, this, first of all, this door, 
that's heavy and it's all glass. So if that hinge breaks, I'm going to jail because I can't afford, <laughs> can't afford that. Anyway, look at this, okay? We got Mandarin Tea Lotion from Shanghai Tang. That's a theme here. I'm gonna show you that. This is some more, no, this isn't tea. This should be tea to keep on brand, but it's Whisper Mint, uh, mint mouthwash. We got the Fresh Nap, napkins, no. Hand sanitizer wipes, boys. You know what these are for, you know? Once you're done, you gotta, you gotta clean up. I'm talking about wings. I'm talking about wings, okay? What were you thinking, you freak? Okay, this, these are luxurious towelettes. That's what it says right there, luxurious towelettes. This is to take off your makeup. I'll use these later on my asshole. Um, <clears throat> not that, well, you know. Anyway, what is this? Let's see what this is. This is some cotton discs so you can clean your face. And we also have, uh, these are, these, what do they say? Do not insert cotton swab into ear canal. Otherwise it gets stuck. So that's great. We got a little dish here with your stuff to clean yourself with. Some cups, you can't steal those otherwise you'll, I don't know, uh, stupid joke. This, this behind me right here, that one doesn't, didn't cost anything. I found that on the side of the road. We can't afford to buy all the paintings in here. Come on, let's be real. Anyway, let's come down here. You notice there was no shower, right? No shower, no bathtub. That's because the water filtration system's off. So we can't, no, I'm kidding. It's over here. This is the shower. It's its own room. So let's head on in here to the shower. You guys are, this is what it's like to shower with a, uh, with a D-list YouTube celebrity. Anyway, I know what you're thinking on the arc. There's not even a shower head. What's going on here? Okay, this, this is the shower head. So you can go like this and clean yourself. Oh shit, I got water everywhere. You can clean yourself or you can stick this seven inches up inside of you and clean your internals. I mean, why else would it be shaped like this? I mean, come on, let's, let's, just, let's just be honest here, okay? We know what this is, but also, that's the shower head up top there. I know you can't see because the light, I'm just, I'm just blinding you with the lights. The shower head, the, sh the water comes down on top of you. It comes on your head, dude. It literally comes on your head. You get it? The shitty joke. Let's go over here. This is a, another Shanghai Tang, okay? More Shanghai Tang. Uh, this is the bath soap. You want to know how you know this place is fancy? You want to know how we're, we're, we're balling with the rich people now? Come on, come with me. I'll show you. Check this out, this is gonna blow your mind, okay? This, remember, this is bath soap, Shanghai Tang. This is the Mandarin tea. Uh, this right here, face soap. Okay, they look the same, but they're not. I don't know the difference between face soap and, and bath soap, but apparently there's a difference. If you're rich enough, they'll give you one of each. So, I don't know. Here we are, we got that. We got the trifecta over here because we've got the bath gel shampoo and conditioner, and we've got a shower cap. Shower cap comes in a triangular piece of cardboard. Not sure what the strategy is there, but it is what it is. Down the hall, okay, that's where we came in. Down the hall, you would think that this is interactive. It's not, I don't know, it's just to hang your coats. I'm not really sure. Here's the bath, here's the, the shower area. Behind me, another 55 inch TV, because why not, right? I mean, like, why not? Why not have two 55 inch TVs? We got, this is the master bedroom. It's also the only bedroom, so by default, it's the master. It's also the guest bedroom, I guess, by default. So whatever, it's got a king size bed. So we're gonna just like <clears throat> take a second to just you and me, we're just gonna be here for a second. We're just gonna chill, you know, we're just hanging out. And at this moment in time, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm remembering that statistic where they say that the dirtiest part of a hotel room is the top sheet on a bed because when people come in and they get intimate, they don't uh, bother to take the sheets off. Okay, we're getting up. This is, that's gross. Um, anyway, this is, this is the bedroom, okay? This is, this reading lights. I've already shown you I can't read, so if you can, you can use those lights. Down here, we've got the power station, okay? You can, don't look at my gross shoes. I can smell from here. I'm kidding. Well, okay, this is the, alarm clock. I just use my phone like everyone else in 2021. 20, and look at this, I was offended. It was a USB-A, bro? A USB-A, dude, that's, come on. Like, it's 2021, this is an embarrassment, but they redeemed themselves because I noticed they have USB-C built in. It's built into the wall, they had an electric, they installed USB-C into their wall, dude. Amazing, well done, I was impressed. I was impressed there. Uh, 
good job to you guys uh, at, what is this fucking place called? Conrad? I don't know. Anyway, beautiful setup here. This, oh, you want to know about the painting. <laughs> of course you want to know about the painting. You want to know how much was spent on that painting, right? This painting right here was done by a seven-year-old German girl who lives upstate in New York. And I paid her $2 million to make this painting. You want to know why? Because she only has elbows. It took her two months to make this, okay? And look at, let's hop up on the bed. Let's, let's get a little closer look over here, okay? She got the yellow and the red accents. Tell me that's not worth $2 million. Elbows only. She doesn't even have, her, she has no forearms, dude. So, yeah. Let's head over here. Um, we've got a couple phones in this place, in case you don't have your own sanitized let's turn on the tv we'll see what's going on oh dude it's my favorite channel this is my favorite channel check it out it's got my name on it it's got my name anything with me favorite channel it should say omniarch right it should say omniarch i don't know you know don't didn't they recognize me when i walked in weren't they like oh dude you're that rise of kingdoms youtuber who got like 20 views on that one video one time they should have known they didn't it is what it is um let's see we got moods over here I what those are let's see what the moods are let's let's make it a mood right now armchair tourist we have the beaches caribbean please enjoy this complimentary complimentary film provided by the armchair tourist crystal clear eye definition this film will provide a unique ambient background to your room let's go ahead and set the mood ladies and gentlemen set the mood <coughs> for the king bed <coughs> Come on. You know what it is? It's nighttime in Caribbean. In the Caribbean, they didn't, they don't have light, they didn't have lights. They forgot to turn the lights on. They have lights, come on, they have lights. They just didn't turn them on. So it's a live feed, that's what this is. That's why, it, it looks like it's not working, but okay, it, it works, just. Anyway, so coming on over here, we're gonna look, take a look at the view. This is the 12th floor, so if I jump, it's over. Down here, there's not really, uh, not really much, okay? Like this is just, a, this is just your normal city view on the street, street view, right? We could take a little, little view up there. Oh no, you can't see anything because there's a reflection from the lights. But anyway, let's head on back over here to the, uh, what's this room called? This is the parlor. This is the parlor, okay? We're heading out over to the parlor. I'm gonna visit, uh, visit my little succulent over here. It's plastic, so we don't have to worry about that dying on us now, do we? Um, one thing that was missing from this place, no Bible. Can you believe that? No Bible. This is America, right? No Bible. I, I checked in here. Check this out. Oh, shit. I thought I broke it. You can plug. You have access to the television from here, right? Isn't that my, that's fancy. I can go home and get my PS5, plug it in here, play PlayStation 5 in a five-star hotel. That's a PlayStation 5-star. I'm not gonna do it because I it's like a thirty dollar Uber and it's both way. I'm not I'm not doing that. But I could do it if I wanted to. Deep drawers for your deep pockets. There's nothing in them. There's no Bible. I don't know how am I like this is America, right? And we we built our entire history on oppressing people based on religion and and you know economic status. I can go to a Red Roof Inn. I can go to a Holiday Inn for seventeen dollars, and there's gonna be a dollar store Bible somewhere because they know what's important. Jesus Christ. And here, nothing. So it is what it is. Let's take a look in these closets. What's in here? I suddenly don't care about the Bible anymore because we have, ladies and gentlemen, we have two robes, one for right now and one for maybe tomorrow before I check out. That way they have to do twice the laundry. I don't know, but it looks amazing. Down here, that's where I got these slippers from. They're not great, honestly, that my feet are sweating, but it's better than using my dirty socks in the floor. And then there's a shoe bag down here, a little iron, things like that. These sheets, these are the ones that I'm gonna be using because the ones here have ejaculate on them. These don't, and the way that I know that they don't is because people are too lazy to take those out. So we're gonna be using those, but also, if you're here with your partner and you get into an argument, you're gonna be sleeping on that couch out there. At least you got some extra blankets so you don't freeze your ass off. So that's good. What's over in this one? Here we've got an Abercrombie coat because I'm broke. And what is this? We've got a umbrella. So it doesn't, I'm competent. I can do this, okay? We got an umbrella here. Oh, what's down here? Maybe the Bible thing here. No, no Bible. Oh shit, that drawer is broken. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, 
<clears throat> we're gonna close that. Um, yeah, so it is 6 p.m. right now, 5.56 to be exact. I haven't eaten since breakfast besides those little chocolates that I had like two hours ago, and uh, I'm starving. So I'm gonna find food. Um, the food here is ridiculously expensive. So yeah, let's go get some food. Yo, now it's purple. Dude, this is sick, man. This place is dope. This is so cool. So I've been living this life of opulence for the past few hours now. I'm exhausted. It's time to eat. And I decided, what does a king eat, right? What does a king eat? Your boy secured the bag. This is Shake Shack. You know I had to get something absolutely delectable for, for dinner tonight after such a long day. Man, they really, this is really a plastic sticker. I can't even rip it. Okay. This is, I had to do it, man. I had to do it. It was right around the corner. Absolutely clutch. Clutch. Guys, what is your favorite... What's your favorite burger? I need to know. You already know I got the double shack in here. We got the double shack burger. We don't got anything fancy on it. We don't have any mushrooms or any bacon. Nah, dude, we just got the double shack burger with the shack sauce. Mm. Signature crinkle cut fries. I was praying, dude. I was praying that they had the ketchup in there because I left and I realized as I walked out, I was like, no, dude, they, I forgot to grab the ketchup, but they thought ahead. Of course they did. It's Shake Shack, you know, they, 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 do, they do the thing. They do the thing. Yo, there it is, boys. Let's go. That Shack Burger looking fine as hell. Look at that. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, what's a better burger than Shake Shack? Seriously, drop it in the comment section below. I got grease all over the place already. That's the, oh, we're digging right in. We are digging right in. Look at how greasy, look how greasy the bag is, man. That's how you know it's good, dude. That's how you know it's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm. That shack sauce, dude, oh, it's perfect. This is gonna give me the itis for real, for real. I'm gonna pass out after this. It's only 6.20. I got stuff to do, but I don't know. I might fall asleep. A little mukbang for you guys. Mmm, yo, these fries, they don't even need ketchup. They're crispy, they're salty. Yes, dude. Yo, my eyes look crazy here. They look so blue. What? There's no filter or editing. That's nuts, guys. I just tried out the uh, the Mandarin Tea Lotion. This stuff smells incredible, but it's really greasy. Six out of 10, honestly, could do better. It's much better than the face soap, though. I just tried the face soap, and uh, it smells like, you know, your basic hotel soap. Maybe slightly different, but... It is what it is. I might have to try one of these. I don't know if they're gonna charge me for this, but I, I, we might we might fuck around and give that a try. What we do have to do though, <clears throat> we have to go on the bed. Uh, do you guys think the bed's bouncy? Uh, yeah, dude, this is a good workout. Bitch, the people downstairs probably think I'm like doing something way worse. But not, dude, we're, we're vibing, bro. Oh, dude, we're vibing. I swear I didn't have an energy drink or any coffee in like a really long time. I just had that Diet Coke. 10 out of 10 for bounciness, honestly. This was really bouncy. So top notch. All right, let's try out this Nespresso machine. I've literally never used one of these. I've only ever used Keurig's. So let's see how this goes. This says you have to fill the back with water. We can't use the sink water. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Conrad water. So let's see if we can uh, not make an absolute mess with, with this. Uh, let's pour this, crack open a, a warm one with the boys. So let's do that. Pour this in the back here. A little water dripping ASMR for you guys, if that's <clears throat> that's your thing. We're gonna empty two in there just in case, you know? Why not? We'll, we'll dump two in there. Maybe I'll have some in the morning as well. Who knows? I mean, the, the sky's the limit or whatever they say in the movies. <clears throat> let's see, where's the garbage? Um, yeet. Let's, I'll figure that out later. Let's see. Let me move this over here. We're gonna have to get. Oh wait. Let me close this. We need. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna make some espresso. Okay. We don't. We don't mess around with coffee. Okay. We're going straight for the espresso. We've got three choices. Okay. There's the black, the blue, and the gold. So it's basically like Pokemon. You gotta pick your. Uh, pick your starter here. Um, the black is Ristretto. The blue is. Vivalto Lungo and the other one is from what I can tell decaf. So uh, the black one is fruity and cocoa. So we're gonna go ahead and try that one out. Why not, right? <clears throat> Let's see, what do we, power button, open lever, insert capsule. I'm assuming it goes like that. Did I fuck that up? I'm gonna just 
We're gonna close it. it smells like plastic. Let's go with the let's go with the uh, <coughs> espresso option. Let's see. Let's see this bad boy in action. I'm assuming it's heating up. <coughs> or did I drop to press it twice? Okay, I thought that would be messy. Let's go. Yo, yo, that smells incredible. That smells so good, dude. Oh my God, wait a minute. I actually was making this as like a meme, but like this smells so freaking good. I shouldn't be having espresso this late at night. It's 6.45 and I'm gonna have a shot. Oof, let's look, we got the, got the crema on the top there. F flawless, flawless, well done Nespresso. It smells burnt. <clears throat> Maybe that's the uh, the fruity cocoa smell. I don't know. Mmm, yes, there's <clears throat> complex notes of chocolate and red wine. I don't know. That's actually super good. I'm not, not even messing around. That's really, really good. I don't even know what brand this is. Or is it all Nespresso? Oh, it's Nespresso brand. I don't have any like cream or sugar or anything. This is just fire, just on its own. Yo, I'm gonna be running up the walls later. Let's try the gold one. I mean, why not, right? Let's try the gold one. Let's see what this tastes like. There's no coffee. What happened? The gold one's broken. The gold one's broken, I broke it. This is just piss water. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just urine water. I don't know, maybe that's because there's no filtration system in this damn place. There we go. We are in business, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try this gold one out. My neighbors are probably just like, how many cups of espresso? That thing is loud. That thing is loud. Probably thinking, how many cups of espresso is he gonna make over there? It's it's seven o'clock at night. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the police. Anyway. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> nope, gold one's gross. Gold one's gross. Don't do get. Don't do decaf. Just don't. Just, just don't do it. I really wish I didn't eat those chocolates earlier because now that I ate dinner, I want something sweet. That's like what fat people do. Is like like myself. Like you eat and then you just want to keep eating. Like I had something salty. Now I want something sweet and then you want something salty after that. I want something sweet right now and I don't know how I'm gonna solve this problem, but. Regardless, this video has been way longer than I thought it would be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is not normally what I do on this channel, but I had a really good time making this video. So if this is something that you guys found entertaining or found interesting, please be sure to drop a thumbs up on it. So that way I know that more content like this is something that you guys wouldn't mind seeing. Of course, comment down below your favorite burger. I need to know, is it Shake Shack? Is it In-N-Out? is a burger king okay are you wrong is it burger <laughs> comment down below let me know what you think of this place what do you think of this hotel i would love to hear from you guys and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new around here click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a vlog style video and as always guys thank you so much for watching my social media links are in the description below follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord everything is always in the description below my instagram story saw this before this video went live so you get a little sneak peek of stuff as well anyway guys thank you so much for watching this is the dominique i will talk to you guys again soon peace